Already seen some rain today. Will we see more, Dave? Oh yeah, plenty of rain expected out there, Eric. You can see some of these uh, ominous skies, if you will. These bands of rain working the way through town, producing some downpours out there. And this will be the trend as we go forward throughout the day. Today, as we continue to track tropical depression number eight, sitting down here south of Louisiana, and it's trying to get a little better organized. Some more thunderstorms developing here, still battling a little bit of some wind shear, but you can see on the northern and eastern side of it, a lot of rain developing. There is rain around the center too, just the radar can't see that far down south. Now this is expected to get better organized and become tropical storm Hannah as we headed to tomorrow, making landfalls a tropical storm there into Texas with winds of at least 45. Wouldn't be surprised if it's a little bit stronger out there as it continues to move into South Texas. We are looking at some pretty heavy rain expected across that area, but notice we are on the right side of it. So remember it's moving west, so we're still on the wet side and that means more rain expected across the area. Winds a little breezy in some of the thunderstorms 20 gusting to 25 just out ahead of the low there and then 20 to 25 also not too far away from the mobile alley. Alabama area and you can see there's bands of rain continue to work their way through the region here. Some uh, pretty good downpours from over the lake back toward Kenner headed toward Luling Booty area spreading its way toward eventually Laplace, Destrehan, Norco. You guys are going to get some rain back down to Belt Chase in the Poydras area picking up some downpours as well as that next band of rain comes through and it's very heavy rain. It's just it's moving fortunately so we don't have to worry about any kind of significant street flooding. That'll be possible a little later in the day, but right now you can see from near two lane area packed to uptown heading to parts of Old Jefferson, a little rain over toward the Kenner area, picking up a couple of showers for you guys at the moment too. And as we go on into the south here again, look at this, the big circulation tied in with this here and with these new thunderstorms developing, that's going to try to get more and more organization with it as we headed to tomorrow. And that's why it could become a tropical storm. Right now we are looking at this upper level low working its way into Mexico that is producing a little wind shear. Then behind it, another bigger upper level low coming on shore here in the United States that actually will be moving into our area heading to Sunday, Monday and Tuesday with more rain expected across the area. But high pressure sitting north of Atlanta. That's what's steering this way westward. You have clockwise flow around it. Also, that new upper level low will come in south of that too, and that's going to keep more wet weather in place. A lot of deep tropical moisture coming from the tropical depression, and that remains as we go forward through the weekend, even on into early next week. So you'll see again, there's scattered showers moving on through as the system becomes better organized here. More rain developing as it moves on in just north of Corpus Christi near Rockport area. That's about where Harvey made landfall a couple years ago, spreading some very heavy rain on into Texas as well. Our rain totals the next couple of days, one to three inches along the inland areas, coast three to six coastal flooding. Could see water levels are one to two feet, winds around 10 to 20, nothing significant. A couple tornadoes possible, but we do need to watch out for some street flooding, especially heading to tomorrow and into the day on Saturday. So level one risk for flooding there uh, really from the city northward today from the city southward level two. And and then tomorrow from really the lake southward, it's level two risk. So we do need to be aware that that's something we'll have to watch out for on top of the coastal flooding concerns with that coastal flood advisory in effect now through 7 p.m. on Friday. Now on the heels of this, we have now tropical storm Gonzalo. This one here with winds of 65 and west to 12 kind of ragged looking now is bringing in some drier air it is expected to become a hurricane later. Work its way into the Caribbean and eventually dissipate or not really weaken, weaken I should say before dissipating. Uh, we'll keep an eye on this one, but nothing we need to worry about at the time, so we'll have to see what this does once it's in the Caribbean. Right now, though, how about 78 degrees here in town? 77 in Hammond, 83 feels like 91 with rain at the airport. 81 feels like 87 in Homa. It's very humid out there, and we'll keep the humidity with a nice breeze this afternoon, but temperatures only in the mid 80s with about an 80% chance for rain for the rest of the day today. You can see that rain from lunchtime heading on into the afternoon hours. Some pretty good downpours expected as we go on into 10 o'clock tonight through the overnight hours. More scattered showers and some storms into tomorrow morning around 10 a.m. through the morning hours into the afternoon, even on into Saturday. We're still starting off the morning with wet weather and more of it expected through the afternoon. So heavy rain for the next three days, at least temperatures only in the mid 80s. We'll see our chance of rain dropping a little bit at Sunday to 60% and stays that way into next week as that second system, non-tropical one, works its way through the area. So stay weather aware over the next few days.